Good afternoon. Would you please tell us where you're coming from and why you're here in Swiss Medical? Sure. So I'm coming from United States, um, from the state of Washington, and you know, looking for uh, alternate medicine for my child, and that's what brought me to Belgrade. Uh, so how did you find out about the idea of having a cell, stem cell treatment for the autistic kid? I found out through research. So my child was diagnosed when he was three years old, and all this time we tried everything including therapy and everything possible we can uh, and uh, unsuccessfully uh, he hasn't been able to be verbal like he's not talking and so recently I tried to look at some research to see what is possible out there and I just came across a uh, Swiss Medica that mentioned about the stem cell uh, treatment and so I dig into it more and more and I become more interested in trying to find out if that can help my child. So what kind of challenges does your child face uh, in his everyday life being autistic? And you as a parent, what kind of challenges do you face? A lot of challenges. Uh, first of all, he cannot express himself. And so you will never know what he need or what he want. Uh, second, it's just the, the challenge of being a parent and wanting to see your child doing things and be independent. In this case, he's not fully independent yet. He cannot ask for things, so you will have to point things out. Um, you will have to be there nearly 24-7 uh, to support him any way possible. And so those are the kind of challenges that we are facing today that we will hope to minimize in the future and make sure that he's independent and able to take care of himself. Um. How did you find out about uh, Swiss Medical Clinic and why? Um, what made us so special that you have chosen us from all the clinics out there? Just talking to uh, some other friends that have similar situation, uh, the stem cell treatment has come up a uh, few times and so when I Google it, the first uh, clinic that came up was uh, Swiss Medica and that's why I kind of wanted to find out more and so honestly it wasn't a recommendation, it was just me coming across it and thought that I can dig more information. And the more I dig, the more I become so interested. And I was like, this is something that was trying. And then just kind of looking at some of the testimonials, uh, uh, videos online. Uh, of course, you will never believe anything online today because there are so many misinformation. And so I just have to trust my gut. And it wasn't easy because as a family, we have to agree. So my wife was hesitant about it. But the more I found out or when I actually got in touch with the people from Swiss Medica, it made it much more clear that this is something um, that is legitimate. Uh, so uh, how long was your treatment here in, in Belgrade, in Swiss Medica? And what, what did it include? Uh, we chose uh, a five-day treatment in which it's, uh, it's, it's a two-day uh, or two separate days of the actual treatment. Uh, we first arrived uh, on the weekend and we met with the doctor, just kind of lay out the plan. Uh, then on Monday, it was the blood work to make sure that the kid is healthy so he can go under the treatment. Then on Tuesday, it was the actual treatment with a stem cell where they put the IV on his arm and I think the, the second one was the injection and the, the, the inhaling, that it's something that put on his nose. So those are the three things that happen at one uh, treatment process. And then you take a day off where he go to a therapist, uh, speed therapy, and then the next day they repeat the same. So that's where we are today. So he got his second treatment today. What kind of expectations do you have? What results would you be happy with? I would be happy if my kid become uh, verbal so we can understand each other. If he start to uh, be independent, uh, play with his uh, siblings, um, do normal things in the house on his own, like dressing uh, with his own clothes, his shoes, um, using the bathroom independently. He does today a little bit, but I want him to see him doing that full time. And the most important thing, I want him to be friendly to sibling and other people uh, currently, he could have the tantrum and he can be angry and he can bite. 
or hit people in the face or in the arm and he does that to me as a parent, which I just have to deal with it, I want to see that go away. Let's hope for that. Yeah, fingers crossed. So, um, what is there anything else you would like to add about your experience in Serbia uh, from your side? About yeah. the doctors, maybe about the country itself, the accommodation, the... I don't know. I, first, I will start with the doctor and then the staff at the clinic here. I think everybody is super nice and that is really a bit welcoming. Uh, you know, we want to go to a place where people cares and not just putting out the message they're saying we can do treatment and things like that, but when they actually care about you, when you arrive here, that's what we want to see. And I think uh, I have seen that here. Um, I have seen the other family that I met here being comfortable here with their children, uh, trusting the doctors. So that's really uh, something incredible to see. Um, I was expecting a huge hospital when I came here, a huge building, but it's a small building, but who cares about the building? We cares about what will come out of that little building. So if I get the treatment that I'm looking for for my child, that's what I'm looking for. So the experience here was great. It's a long trip for, uh, for many of us that will come from all places in the world. Uh, it's very far away, but the accommodation is good. Um, I think everybody from uh, the folks in the kitchen to the folks in the in the um, treatment room to the front desk um, to the administration everybody is super nice here and that's what actually made me feel like I am welcome here and I'm just hoping for the best.